The Lone Star Showdown is far from over, and now some of the Texas House Democrats who fled to D.C. have tested positive for COVID-19. They plan to stay in the nation's capital for several weeks to stop House Republicans from passing an elections bill during the special, special session. Now, here's what we know about the positive COVID-19 cases. One member of the House Democratic Caucus tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. This morning, two more members tested positive. All three of them are fully vaccinated, but right now we don't know who exactly tested positive. Democrats met with Vice President Kamala Harris earlier this week, and today her office tells us that two of the members who tested positive were at that meeting, but were not in close contact with the Vice President or her staff, so the VP and the other staffers are not quarantining. Even with those COVID-19 cases, Democrats say they're in it for the long haul. The governor has no jurisdiction over the members of the Texas House. The speaker of the Texas House has some jurisdiction over us. So Abbott's noise is all bluster. Uh, and I don't believe in backing down to a bully. House Speaker Dade Phelan chartered a plane to bring Democrats back to Austin today, but his office tells us they didn't take him up on that offer. Earlier this week, Democrats released a statement saying they, quote, won't be needing a plane anytime soon. The House Speaker also said he was extending prayers for the Democrats who tested positive for COVID-19.